the bull shark. Its name comes from its strong, solid appearance. And its aggressive reputation is justified by its kill rate. The bull is one of the three deadliest sharks in the ocean. Cutting through the water like a three and a half meter long missile. The bull shark stalks coastal regions through most of the world's oceans. eating almost anything in its path. Its small eyes indicate the bull shark doesn't rely only on sight to land a meal. Instead, it uses other more refined senses. The bull's sophisticated sense of smell may detect scent over a kilometer and a half away. Tiny gel-filled organs in its head detect low-frequency vibrations like splashing humans or injured fish. Once locked in, the shark powers itself toward its target at bursts of speed up to 17 kilometers an hour almost twice as fast as an Olympic swimmer. Rows of saw blade teeth stand ready to shred and tear at smaller sharks and schooling fish. The shark replaces these teeth continuously throughout its life. It's always armed and ready for the kill. The bull shark is undeterred by human presence and may attack more people than its better known cousin, the great white. But sharks aren't the only fish in the ocean wielding deadly jaws. Another is armed to the gills with a double set of very different teeth. the great barracuda. There are roughly 26 species of barracuda, but the great barracuda is the biggest. It's built like a torpedo, growing up to one and a half meters and weighing over 45 kilograms. Smaller species of barracuda stick to the safety of their school, but the great barracuda hunts alone. It pursues prey to depths over 90 meters, but does most of its hunting in the shallows and around coral reefs. The Barracuda thrives in tropical and temperate waters of the Pacific, Atlantic, and Indian Oceans. These coral shallows attract bony fish such as ballyhoo, a Barracuda's favorite meal. The hunter pinpoints prey with superb vision. Then it employs two different hunting strategies. Either waiting motionless in ambush, or chasing down fish at speeds over 55 kilometers per hour. The Barracuda makes the kill with two different sets of teeth. The outer row tears flesh with smaller, razor-sharp blades. Further in sit larger, dagger-like teeth that hold prey in place. It's an ingenious and deadly design. Only the lucky escape. Fortunately, the Barracuda rarely targets us. It's only killed two people though it's suspected in many other attacks. In much deeper water, a massive creature hunts with a single set of teeth.
and it's one of the most formidable weapons in the ocean. Adult males can span the length of a subway car and weigh as much as a tank. The sperm whale. They swim in all the world's oceans. Females and juveniles remain in the warmer tropical and subtropical waters. Only hardy adult males venture into colder waters in the Arctic and Antarctic. Each day, this giant carnivore consumes almost one ton of food. Its throat is large enough to swallow a full-grown man. But this behemoth doesn't prey on us. It consumes fish and octopus. Using its row of 20 centimeter long teeth to shred its meal. The giant mammal surfaces for one large breath, then dives almost a kilometer down in search of its most enormous and elusive target, the giant squid. They wage their battles over 900 meters deep, where less than 1% of the sun's light penetrates. The whale sees its prey through echolocation. It generates intense ultrasonic clicks from the front of its head. These sound waves then bounce off a concave bone, redirecting them toward prey. Much like a submarine, the whale interprets the returning echo to determine the object's shape and location. Exactly what happens during these deep sea clashes is still a mystery. The only evidence, round suction cup marks left by the squid. They are three vastly different creatures with one thing in common. They're equipped with some of the most impressive jaws on Earth. The oceans support wildly diverse life. Many are as harmless as they appear. But in a realm of strange creatures, appearances can be deceiving. One shocking hunter has the ability to knock a diver unconscious. The torpedo ray. Its large, disc-like body can weigh over 35 kilograms. It looks more like a stealth bomber than a torpedo. But this ray is armed with an explosive charge. It's one of 14 species of rays capable of delivering a strong electric shock. Its electric power comes from modified gill muscles that contract in waves. They cover the ray's sides, spanning from the top of the disc all the way to its bottom. During the hunt, it traps prey under its disc, then directs the electric current toward the fish, racking its body with several hundred electric waves. The shock disrupts the nervous system, causing muscle spasms. The torpedo ray normally uses this weapon on bottom-dwelling creatures and fish. But if alarmed, the ray turns its offense into a defense, unleashing up to 50 volts. Although this ray can track a meal to depths over 190 meters, it 
primarily hunts in shallower waters of the Pacific Ocean. From British Columbia to northern Mexico, these waters are a magnet for scuba divers, who sometimes turn up drowned with no sign of equipment failure or external injury. The torpedo ray is often the culprit. But unexpected dangers aren't always well concealed. One creature uses its prominent weapon in a most unpredictable way. They are some of the largest and most athletic fish in the ocean. Billfish. This elite group includes sailfish and marlin. And while they may appear menacing, they're often a prized catch on the end of a sport fisherman's line. In the last 50 years, overfishing and habitat destruction have reduced some of these species by an estimated 90%. But the battle isn't one-sided. On occasion, these giants can turn the tables on us. Leaping out of the sea in a last-ditch effort to break free, billfish have been known to stab and kill their human opponent. Billfish spend most of their lives far out at sea following the world's warm currents, seeking out schooling fish such as mackerel and herring. The largest member of the billfish family is the marlin. It can grow as long as a compact car, weighing over 900 kilograms and stretching over four meters. But the sailfish is the fastest in the billfish family. And the fastest fish in the ocean. Its streamlined body cuts through the water, overtaking prey at speeds of 100 kilometers per hour. When attacking, sailfish flare their dorsal fins to appear even larger. They flash their brightly colored bars to break up their dark silhouette, pushing the disoriented fish into a tighter formation. The sailfish then work as a team, taking turns to cut through the bait ball. Their long, spear-shaped upper jaw bones act like swords, maiming and stunning the fish. The sailfish quickly consumes its injured prey. Another predator appears to frolic harmlessly just below the surface, but it too can become deadly in an instant. It belongs to a family of playful creatures, known for being cute, curious, and harmless. But one seal has a reputation for being ruthless. It dominates its frigid realm with unexpected ferocity. The leopard seal. It's the only seal that feeds primarily on warm-blooded prey. It hunts as far north as the coasts of South America, Africa, and Australia. But its true home is the waters of the Antarctic. Penguins are one of its favorite meals. When plentiful, they make up over 80% of its diet.
The seal doesn't roam far for its meal. This lone hunter stays in a small area. Some track the same penguin colony, picking off an average of five birds a day. Penguins find sanctuary on the ice flows, but they're also hunters and must eventually enter the water to catch fish. The seal can afford to be patient. The 450 kilogram seal is a faster and more powerful swimmer, pursuing the penguins up to 38 kilometers an hour. But penguins are more agile. They make quick 180 degree turns and work in groups to cause confusion. Penguins unable to outmaneuver the seal face its deadly jaws. Two and a half centimeter long canine teeth puncture flesh, helping to shred and tear the penguin apart. But a leopard seal isn't limited to hunting in the water. It climbs onto the ice and corners its quarry. A penguin trapped in uneven snow makes an easy target. But even now, it has one last trick. It plays dead to avoid further gouging. When the seal releases its hold to get a better grip, the bird makes a quick escape. But the leopard seal's surprise attacks often have a different outcome. They strike with unexpected weapons, securing a meal through shocks, stabs, and stealth attacks. Danger in the ocean doesn't just come from sharp teeth and electric shocks. Some animals inject lethal venom Sea urchins are small, hard-shelled creatures, known for their toxic, stinging spines. But one species of urchin can also bite. The fire urchin. It's only a few centimeters in diameter, smaller than a baseball. But its dazzling beauty and small size belie its lethal abilities. The fire urchin injects its venom two ways. A sac at the tip of each spine holds potent toxins. When the spine penetrates flesh, the sac ruptures, injecting the venom directly into the wound. The sting is excruciatingly painful and can lead to paralysis, even death. But the urchin has other hidden weapons. Hundreds of tiny jaws. The tip of each jaw is outfitted with fang-like appendages capable of penetrating skin. Upon contact, these jaws snap shut, injecting a toxin that disrupts the nervous system. A diver who grabs the urchin may become unable to breathe or move, leading to death by drowning. The fire urchin spends its life in the shallow waters of tropical reefs from Southeast Asia through the islands of the Indo-Pacific to Australia's northern coast. There's no anti-venom for a fire urchin sting. And this compact creature has killed humans.
but the fire urchin shares its home waters with an even more venomous creature. Drop for drop, it's one of the most toxic serpents in the ocean. A single bite can kill over 20 grown men. The olive sea snake. It's armed with small, hollow fangs that inject a venomous cocktail. Neurotoxins disrupt nerve signals, while myotoxins destroy muscle tissue. Combined, they bring respiratory paralysis and swift death. It also uses its venom to digest prey, which it finds at depths over 40 meters. But the sea snake typically stalks shallower coral reefs. In the tropical coastal waters of northern Australia and southern New Guinea. It hunts both day and night, using its keen sense of smell to target fish hiding in the shelter of the coral maze. but it also hunts with a hidden weapon. A collection of light-sensitive nerve cells on its tail that pick up reflections given off by fish scales. It's like having eyes on both ends of its two-meter long body. The snake's tail also acts like a paddle, propelling it through the water faster than a human can swim. It holds its breath by closing the valves in its nostrils, opening them only when it surfaces to breathe. During these trips to and from the surface, it crosses paths with us. Luckily, the olive sea snake rarely uses its powerful venom on humans. That is not the case with the ocean's most notorious venomous creature, one whose sting is both indiscriminate and deadly. The box jellyfish. It's killed more than 80 people in the last century. There are nearly 30,000 species of jellyfish worldwide but the box jellyfish is the most toxic and perhaps the most unique. It's the only jellyfish that hunts with eyesight. 24 eyes are grouped in clusters of six on each of its four corners. Two in each group are human-like, detecting the color and size of objects in its path. They give the jellyfish an extreme fisheye view of its underwater world. And unlike normal jellyfish, which drift in the ocean current, the box jellyfish is an agile swimmer. When it spots prey, it can make rapid 180-degree turns, directing itself toward its target. It closes in, armed for the kill. The largest box jellyfish, also known as a sea wasp, trails as many as 60 tentacles. They drift beneath its body to form a toxic web up to four and a half meters long. Upon contact, millions of microscopic needles called nematocysts fire into the fish's body. Potent venom immediately begins attacking the heart and lungs. 
Complete cardiac and respiratory failure soon follow. The jellyfish then draws the fish into its bell to be digested. Dangerous box jellyfish live in most tropical and subtropical waters. But the sea wasp only lives along the coast of Southeast Asia to Northern Australia. It often hunts close to shore and close to us. The sea wasp strikes without warning. Its sting is agonizing. And its venom can kill in a matter of minutes. They dole out their venom in vastly different ways. Put multiple jaws, needle-sharp fangs, and tiny barbs, all can have the same deadly outcome. The oceans teem with life, from the delicate to the dangerous, including two of the world's most massive predators, the largest of their kind. It reigns as the most colossal reptile on Earth. Its powerful body and hunting prowess have evolved to near perfection, sustaining it for 60 million years. It's a confirmed man-eater. The saltwater crocodile. It's over 900 kilograms and six meters of pure muscle and appetite. But even this giant has to start somewhere. A new hatchling is only 22 centimeters long and extremely vulnerable to predators. Even with its mother's vigilant protection, less than 1% will survive to adulthood. Battles over territory begin early in life. Both male and female crocs challenge each other for the best mating habitat. often forcing younger and weaker crocs to seek out their own territory. In brackish rivers, estuaries, and coastal waters, from India, through Southeast Asia, and the islands of the Indo-Pacific, to the northern shoreline of Australia. When a croc searches for new hunting grounds, it may look downriver, all the way to the ocean. It's equipped with special glands on its tongue that expel salt, so this croc can survive in salty water. It swims kilometers out to sea in search of a meal. Often turning up as a deadly surprise. Whether at sea or in a river, it's an expert swimmer, sliding through the water with the side-to-side -side motion of its muscular tail. The tail also provides a sudden burst of power for the ambush.
With one quick thrust, it explodes towards its unsuspecting quarry. Powerful jaws, lined with over 60 sharp teeth, lock onto prey. In a series of twists, rolls, and thrashes, it rips off large pieces of meat, swallowing them whole. Crocs living in protected areas like India and Australia are thriving. Their success has increased both their range and their encounters with us. Another colossal creature plies the ocean and rushes the coastline. No matter where it hunts, it dominates with size and power. The killer whale. It belongs to the vast dolphin family. But among its relatives, it's a giant. Adult males can grow over nine meters and weigh over 5,000 kilograms. Even juveniles are huge. A newborn calf tops nearly 180 kilograms. It hunts in all the Earth's oceans from the polar regions to the equator. They live in family groups called pods of up to 40 individuals. It's a matriarchal structure. Females communicate dominance through tail slapping. Headbutting. Jaw snapping and biting. But when hunting, they often work together as a cohesive unit, communicating with each other and tracking prey through a variety of sounds. The whale sends out vibrations that strike a school of herring. The sound waves bounce back to the whale, revealing the school's size and exact location. Using the sixth sense and keen vision, the pod falls upon its prey. First, they cooperatively herd the fish into a tight ball. Then, they swipe their powerful tails, creating a feast of stunned herring for the taking. Armed with an array of physical adaptations, the killer whale also takes out larger prey. Few animals are safe from this top predator. Even agile harbor porpoises are no match for a pack of killer whales. In a series of zigzags, they try to outmaneuver the pod. But killer whales are some of the fastest swimming mammals on Earth. They close in at over 45 kilometers an hour. Like a pack of wolves, they surround the porpoise and take turns inflicting fatal bites. But these versatile predators don't just hunt at sea. Some specialize in plucking a meal off the shoreline. It's a risky technique. If the whale miscalculates and strands itself, it will die. 
but a successful charge is worth the gamble. Powerful jaws clamp down. Teeth over 10 centimeters long seize and hold the seal. The sheer force of the blow and the violent shaking that follows bring a swift death. They are the largest and most powerful of their kind. One, a lone warrior. The other patrols the oceans in an organized pack. But both use their size and power to take down prey with brutal ferocity. The oceans are home to animals that hunt with lethal weapons. Some are as dangerous as they look, while others conceal their deadly abilities. But the mere sight of one leviathan inspires a primal fear like no other. I didn't know what was going on just for the couple of seconds. I got shook around a bit. And I seen like half my leg and I just freaked. I remember just yelling out at the top of my lungs, just help. It's a life and death struggle with the largest predatory fish in the ocean. Their notorious jaws have killed more humans than any other shark. The Great White. The Great White Shark patrols the world's temperate coastal waters, including the Pacific, Atlantic, and Indian Oceans. But this infamous predator claims the most lives off the coast of Australia. Many people flock to these beaches to enjoy the sea. They're often unaware of the dangers that lie just out of eyesight. But on a December morning, surfer Zach Golubioski comes face to face with the legendary Jaws. Me and my friend rang up my brother and said, like, do you want to come get us? Do you want to go surfing kind of thing? So the waves were really good. There was like a big swell and um, we were the only people there. Like. But Zach and his friends aren't the only ones riding the waves today. Under the surface, the ocean's most feared predator is on the hunt. Armed with an array of finely honed senses, a great white shark seeks out its next meal. Over a quarter of its brain is devoted to smell. It's believed the shark can track down prey over a kilometer and a half away. Gel-filled canals in its head, visible here as black dots, are part of a system called the Ampulla of Lorenzini. It's the shark's sixth sense, picking up electric fields given off by other animals, like a beating heart or splashing surfers. We were all just sitting there, and then a wave came, and I was like, I'll get this one. So I pretty much got up and jumped straight off. There was just nothing to it. And I jumped off and hopped back on my board and started paddling back out. A fish as large as a pickup truck should be easy to see, but it's not. The shark's gray coloring helps its six meter long body blend into the water surface. 
swimming up to 24 kilometers per hour. It appears out of nowhere. That's when it hit me. Bang, this is it. I can remember it hitting, but I didn't see it or anything, so it came from kind of the side. I didn't know what was going on, just for the couple of seconds. Great whites have attacked more than 200 people. Over a quarter have been fatal. Although it will target humans, the shark primarily feeds on fish and marine mammals. The great white approaches prey with different strategies. Some investigate an unknown object by bumping it with its snout. It may even take a trial bite. It's a technique known as the bump and bite. But in surf zones, a shark often takes a different approach. Striking with a single lethal bite. This is known as a hit and run. It approaches Zach from below, rocketing toward him, leaving the surfer with no escape route. Serrated teeth effortlessly tear through his skin and bone. I must have been on my back and I seen like half my leg and I just freaked. In an instant, the bottom of his right leg is completely gone. And I remember just yelling out at the top of my lungs, just help. Zach's brother struggles to pull him to shore. Losing a lot of blood and fighting for his life, he's rushed to the hospital. After months of rehabilitation, Zach now walks with a prosthetic leg. But it's not his only reminder of that life-changing day. This here is like the back of the wetsuit. So you can um, see how the shark, its jawline's kind of gone like this, and it's just bit the right leg, completely taken it off. And that's the top of the jaw kind of comes all the way back up past my leg and two other teeth marks there and there. He's still surfing, but more wary of sharing the water with such a powerful